We have the latest on the snow and gales heading towards New Zealand. Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Thursday update for June the 29th. And we're tracking this big, windy, southwesterly airflow affecting the corner of Australia and also all of New Zealand in the coming days. The air pressure dropping around the lower part of the South Island in particular at the moment. We've got a deepening low over the Chatham Islands and low pressure to our south, which is about to get even bigger. Over in Australia, though, we've got a big area of high pressure that is tracking along eastwards and it will reach New Zealand uh, briefly next week with some settled weather. So let's take a look and see what's happening. Here is the latest snowfall map, the three days from eight o'clock on Friday morning. And it's actually dropped the numbers down just a little bit from our update over the last couple of days. About five centimeters less expected around the central plateau. And we were expecting half a meter of snow. Now it's around about 30 to 40 centimeters for the mountains and ranges of Otago. So it's still pretty much the same amount, but just a little bit lower. You'll notice that uh, coastal areas around here have a risk of snow. It may not be very much and it might not even settle, but it is possible to sea level around, especially the Catlins, but up towards Dunedin as well and Fiordland. Invercargill, a little more borderline, probably less likely, but possible. If you go to our rural weather website, we've got a snow icon for anywhere where we do expect snow. And at the moment, Dunedin does show up. So a little bit of snow up there and also along the ranges further to the north. Rainfall wise, well, this is up until Wednesday of next week. And it shows what we said yesterday, that most of the rain now is leaning on the western side of the North Island and the South Island, but also down here in Southland and parts of Otago. This is perhaps a little more significant. You're getting up around sort of 50 to 80 millimeters of rain between now and Wednesday. And remember, snow is falling as uh, higher up. But the good news is over here in the east, you're right at the bottom of the scale on that purple shading, so, or pink. So therefore, very little in the way of rain coming for the areas that have just been absolutely saturated. And Australia, speaking of saturation, plenty of rain around the top there, um, anywhere between 40 and 80 millimetres or more, as we see downpours continue on there. But most of the main centres, as you can see, are looking much drier. So here is the setup for Friday. Notice all the wind, all the isobars showing it's a windy day. Um, there'll be some pockets that aren't so bad, you know, our mountains and ranges shelter some of us, but in other areas, it makes the winds a bit worse. But we've got this low pressure zone out here, which is deepening and windy weather all the way to Adelaide, basically, until you run into that high pressure zone. Now on Saturday, we get, uh, again, low pressure down here, 945 hectopascals, very deep and stormy, and when you get the air pressure dropping, makes the atmosphere more unstable. So you're more likely to get sort of sudden showers and downpours and snow flurries that might occur, especially in Southland, which is you know shouldering most of the uh, worst weather, and also around Central Plateau. Eastern areas, a little bit of rain here on, on Saturday in that southerly, but then it should clear up. And in fact, on Sunday, much drier for places like East Cape and Hawke's Bay. Uh, mostly dry, in fact, over there, but a very windy and wintry day. The coldest weather on Sunday, daytime maximums around one, two, three degrees in the lower South Island. So Dunedin and Gore and Invercargill and Queenstown and Cromwell, all of those places are going to be pretty cold. And we'll be seeing a few snow flurries around Waiudu uh, and the Central Plateau as well. So take care if you're driving. Gale force winds as well. Cook Strait's going to be a bit rough. And then over here towards Aussie, in comes that high. Things are settling down. So that high on Monday stretches a little further out to the Tasman, nudges more of this nasty weather away from us. Well, some call it nasty. If you're a skier, it's the best weather in the world. So we've got some snow coming through, but it will start to dry up in the South Island on Monday. Still some rain and showers around the top of New Zealand and a few showers just brushing the south, uh, especially Wellington, southern wider upper, getting that southerly in there. But this is a big high rolling in and by Tuesday, it's getting even closer, but still unsettled for New Zealand. But places like Bay of Plenty and Hawke's Bay and Gisborne, you'll be sunny, as will Canterbury, Nelson and Marlborough, but we will still be seeing showers in Southland. Southland's got the roughest weather really coming up for the next week ahead. And before I go, just a reminder, Lert Info, lert.info, check them out for all the warnings. They provide a really good service covering your part of New Zealand. And of course, ruralweather.co.nz. If you're asking yourself, will it snow at my place? Go to our rural weather site. You'll see the snow icon showing up when there's a high risk for it and a snow rain mix 
when it's a little more 50-50. So we are showing that snow icon up now for a number of main centers. That's all from me back again tomorrow with the latest and the outlook for next week.